What are people now? If you can feel the celebration in the air, can I hear you say, uh, yeah, yeah? Ah, you said it. <laughs> now, in the light of the sixth anniversary celebration of your favorite TV station, Celebration TV, we would be gracing your screens with juicy, groovy contents worth your attention now not only do we intend to bring you fun we also plan to do so by equally blessing your lives at the same time so get your edibles grab a chill drink because i'll be right back Welcome back. Now, it is one thing to begin a journey and it is another to sustain it. Now, not just to sustain it, but to also do so successfully. So just like Celebration TV has flourished in the past six years, we shall equally be visiting the Nigerian gospel entertainment industry and doing an x-ray of five gospel arts who have been in the industry for at least six years and are still actively thriving take note six years now this will be done selectively from different categories ranging from the likes of gospel worship hip-hop comedy drama and even poetry so who's ready Okay, so our number one art coming up straight from the gospel inspirational music is Sinatch. Old Sinachi Joseph, popularly known as Sinatch, is a Nigerian gospel music singer, songwriter, and senior worship leader. She is known for um, globally for several gospel hit songs, which includes the likes of Waymaker, I Know Who I Am, Jesus Is Alive, and more. Now, Sinach hails from Ebony State, Eastern Nigeria, and is the second daughter of a seven children family. Sinach, who started singing for family and friends in 1989 as a hobby, come on, as a hobby, was the first recipient of the Lima Songwriter of the Decade Award, recognizing her contribution to gospel music in the previous decade. And also on the 7th of March 2019, Sinatch became the first gospel singer from Nigeria to record over a hundred million views on a single video on YouTube, come on, and the third Nigerian to achieve that feat with her song, Waymaker, you know it now. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. You are here, working in this place. I worship you. I worship you. Hey, Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper. Light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Waymaker, which was released in December 2015 on the music sharing and streaming platform YouTube. Now, in 2019, Snatch graced the list of the top 100 most reputable people on earth, on earth by Reputation Poll International, which was listed alongside Oprah Winfrey. Queen Elizabeth II and over 93 others being one of the first five Nigerians who made it to the list. Come on, that's a big achievement. And as a songwriter, Sinatra has written over 200 songs and won several awards, like her songs are being sung in many countries and translated in different languages around the world. Now, she has also performed in several countries, including Kenya, at Seatham Caring Church, Dominica, South Africa, United States, and more. Wow, legendary indeed. Now, coming up next, and this time representing the gospel hip hop scene, is no other than the T to the B to the one. Michael Omoria is the best name of TB1, one of Nigeria's top gospel rapper now tb1 is an acronym of the blessed one in case you didn't know you're wondering what tb1 means the blessed one and this is the name he says was inspired by 
the Holy Spirit. Now, he is a multi-talented rapper, singer, songwriter, graphic designer, cinematographer, come on, full package, fulfilling his dreams and ambitions. Now, whether you call it fate or destiny or a calling, the fact is some people are just born to sing and create music, not just music, good music. And now Tibbon started out as a secular artist, but then he got born again in 2002 and switched over to gospel music. Now in 2010, he did a song with Frank Edwards. You two the bless me. Uh-uh, who knows that one? <laughs> Papa, I got it too much. The way you bless me, I never see such. You two the best me oh yes that's the song <laughs> and now that was a song that paved way for gospel rap music in nigeria now having released hit singles grasping different genres including hip-hop pop afropop and reggae looking at the likes of overdose jesus should be king thank you and voice of the lord who doesn't know that one i hear the voice of the lord our god He said everything is alright. Amongst others are multiple award-winning rappers. Keep setting the pace. Now, TV One in March 2019 dropped a Thanksgiving song to celebrate and publicly thank God for a successful 10 years fruitfulness in the music industry this was following his recent music video voice of the lord which remained the talk of the gospel music and entertainment world and automatically an anthem at every concert and gathering of course now the multiple award-winning tv one and leader of the believers love world rap nation is arguably one of the best gospel rappers in africa and popularly known for his unique rapping and writing skills ah what i just said now as and it's too much so time to catch a breath please i'll be right back welcome back now, still on top five Nigerian thriving gospel arts, we have looked at Sinaj from the gospel worship and TB1 from gospel hip hop. But now the next art is from the comedy zone. Now you have to give it up, give it up, give it up for no other than the Willows. Yes, you must have heard of them. Oh, he's an Awili Ojekere are the windows now this story is very interesting please pay attention they met and became friends years ago while acting and writing drama in a church drama group now from church with them voice to dinner mingling now love entwined the hearts of two best friends and then what they got married to each other mm, yes the duo travels within and outside the country painting the jesus picture so vividly that it has won numerous awards and brought recognition back to um, the mini drama community in christianity now one amongst your skits god told me to marry you dear god 
If Martha is my wife, let her appear in my dream. is my wife anyway god one more test to confirm that you're the one that showed me Martha in my dream as my wife then let Martha be the first to call me this morning oh my Martha yes it's you god is you going right away to propose the matter so after i now saw you in my dream that you were pursuing me god now said son son i say god what is it again god now said Martha will be your wife i said ah Martha. i said god you know I don't have money to take care of Martha now. You know, Martha is a big girl. God now says, go first. That, that when I propose to you, he will give me a job. So I now said, okay. And that is why I rush here to come and tell you that God said, you will be my wife. Sorry to disappoint you. I got engaged last month and my wedding is this weekend. Hmm? This is my engagement ring. Aren't you happy for me? No, now. Ah, Abby. God cannot lie now. Ah, but God told me now that you are my wife. Abby, are you confusing me? <laughs> God told me to marry you, shot them to limelight with several millions of views all over the world. And this also earned them international recognition. Now with some of their um, skits being translated into French, Hindi and other languages, come on, you should know, you should know a level you get to um, and then you, you start getting such exposure. So the Willows, who is a breath of fresh air in Christian comedy, uses creative skits, sketches, and dramatic illustrations of common life issues to inspire the viewers around the world. Wow, what a touching story. Mm, like from drama group, before you know they got married and before you know explosion. I'm happy for them. Yes, yeah, so the next scene of review is the world of illustrations. No, wait, wait, wait. I have to take this dramatically. Yes. Now from the world of illustrations and dialogue. Yes drama of course and ranking at the top of our list is the mount zion drama ministry yes mount zion nigerian movies play whether i like it or not a significant role in the movie industry of the country now it is worth the mention that the most nigerian kids of the 80s and the 90s grew up on these christian movies as they played crucial educational role bordering on topics such as consequences of sin the difference between good and evil the importance of god you know and so on now in the 90s mount zion films were vehicles for messages on heaven and hell but it also scared the hell out of many nigerians you know the movie when you watch it eh, and then you you know that heaven is real like you have to give your life to Christ by force. Call them what you want to, but these faith based scriptural and Christian movies. Just up. Are you not going for the party? 
I don't feel like going to any party. I just want to spend some time with these children at home during this weekend. Maybe we should send for Bayo. Let him join us this weekend. Maybe tomorrow morning. And we'll spend a lovely time as a family. Well, it's a good idea. But you should have informed me before now. Eh? And that doesn't stop us from attending the party tonight. Edward and Kenny will feel hot if you are not there tonight. I don't feel like going anywhere this night. I want to rest tonight. That's all. Okay. You can stay. How go? I have an appointment with my friends and we have decided to meet at the party tonight. You mean you will go to that party without me? You will go alone? Yeah, but you will go alone to that party without me? What do you expect? Am I a kid? I can't just waste this weekend just like that. I have to be there tonight because I don't want to disappoint those friends of mine. Those friends? Those your lousy friends of yours? Yeah, but I suspect those friends of yours. Kule, don't go there. Kule, don't go there. Don't go where? Don't go there and Don't go where? Way. Look, I said we should spend time as a family this weekend with our children. And you say you want to go to a party. They are going back to school on Sunday. Let's spend time with them before they go back on Sunday. And I'm saying these children are no more kids. They are grown up. They know how to play and relax without us being around them. And we have to be at a party tonight. If you don't go, then I will go alone. Yabo, come back here. Yabo, come back here. What is your problem? Come back what is your problem? Now, in the 90s, Mount Zion famous were vehicles for messages on heaven and hell. But it also scared the hell out of many Nigerians. You know, the movie when you watch it, eh, and then you, you know that heaven is real. Like, you have to give your life to Christ by force. Call them what you want to, but these faith based scriptural and Christian movies were one of the household necessities in those days. Now, the influx of this film started with Mike Bamiloye's Mount Zion Drama Ministry and distributing Nigerian films with spiritual messages, taking out spiritual messages in 1990. Now, Mount Zion films, despite their popularity, never featured any mainstream Nollywood actress. The cast comprised mostly of Mike Bamiloye, his wife, Gloria Bamiloye, Yemi Adepoju, and Tony Oke. And also in 2014, the ministry produced her hundreds film, some of which are subtitled in French, Nupe, Hausa, Portuguese Creole, Ewe, Lingala, and Hindi. One thing is for sure, they remain passionate and continue to thrive. God bless you, Mount Zion, for blessing our lives. Now, crowning our program today is the field of creativity, ideas, pictures, rhythm, and rhymes. Yes, guess what? <laughs> okay, don't worry. Don't stretch yourself. Let me tell you. Now, I'm talking about poetry. Yes. Now, the infusion of words which brings about magic. And then topping this category for us is none other than the talented Hey the Rhymer. Of course, you must have heard of him. Ayokunle Adebayo, popularly known as Hey the Rhymer, is one of the Nigerian multi talented artists who is tagged originality person. No, I have to say it with his accent originality personify an inspirational artist radio and tv presenter motivational speaker publisher editor event manager and then he is also a great minister of the gospel through entertainment and then he hails from kogi state nigeria he was born in ikare akoko Ondo State, Nigeria, in the mid 70s. Now, he is a native of Mangogo in Kogi State, Nigeria, and his passion is to worship God and bring out the best in people by motivating them to, to the fullness of their potentials through God's given talent in poetry, music, and then he also does comedy and writing, yes, but then he majors in poetry. God. 
Mark PSU, Jehovah God of 247, that can turn situation around before the count of seven and still forgive your iniquities even after 77. The master of creation that raised from generation to generation, he died in crucifixion. Master shut for your emancipation through his condemnation. You obtain divine justification, and before his ascension to his mansion, he made provision for your vision. Is your portion and possession in all ramification? The God of your commission that foreknew you even before the creation, nothing like commission in his mission. Your present death in every situation that lifted you from a place of opposition and set your feet on the higher position, the center of your attraction, the head of every discussion, beautiful beyond description, and not limited by your own imagination. Now, he is the organizer of a monthly inspirational worship comedy show tagged Rhythms of Joy with KY and friends. Now, I want to say thank you so very much for giving us your time and attention because just as you are celebrating with us today, I am sure that celebration shall not also depart from your life. I'm also certain that we have had a couple of other genius and arms of gospel entertainment industry, which of course we know are with amazing and successful arts. But we're so sorry because we can only handle a few. So I hope you had a great time and you were equally blessed. So just as you have celebrated with us this season, celebration should not cease in your life. Thank you so very much for joining us on this interesting, wonderful and entertaining journey. I am James Comfort and it's bye for now.